Dawn. I'm Dawn Lombardi, your hostess for the night, and we have, you won't believe it, Rose <laughs> Ponty from Farmington. And your job, she has a, a fancy kind of job. She gets econ economic cultural Economic Development Director. She's the Very Economic fancy Cultural label. Director of Farmington, <laughs> just the town of Farmington. Farmington, yeah. So just when someone farm. opens a business, you're cutting the ribbon, I'm welcoming them the ribbon. To, the, to, the, yep. to the community. And I'm helping them and doing business advice, and we do communication and promotions. I love that. Now, do you know how many businesses, small businesses, we have in Farmington? I wouldn't know. Roughly? We have, like, we, believe it or not, we have about 2,000 businesses really? in the town. Oh, you're kidding. No. I can't even believe it. Not including the West Farms Mall, right? No, no. This well, no, small. there are there are some. Okay. No, no, not That's just fine. all small. Yeah. 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 And in, we have 25,000 people 2, that live in town, but we have 32,000 that come to town to work. Wow. So we have oh, more people working that. in town than living in town. And Isn't so that cool? It could be anything from doctors, obviously. Yeah, doctors, dentists, teachers, manufacturers, teachers. teachers. Yeah. We have lots of uh, insurance agents and financial planners, and we have everything in between. We have it's people nice who work in retail. To, and it's a nice spot to be in because I was in Simsbury, which I absolutely adore. I was there for a good part of yesterday and uh, my neighbor, who's, you know, obviously my next door neighbor, Mary Sue, she's been on the show before, but she was like, I love Simsbury too, but I love how Farmington has 84. It's just very, you know, you don't have to drive to, no. you know, East the Jesus and back exactly. just to get out. So it's very nice to, uh, it's a good commute if you have to get something somewhere quick. So what brought you to Farmington? Huh. Well, so I used to be I used to be the economic development director in Torrington. Torrington. And okay. so I did a lot of things in um to really help with the downtown and then um I worked before I was with the Torrington yeah. um I worked at Nutmeg Conservatory, which is a ballet studio in Torrington. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. A ballet a conservatory Tori and um, oh, that's nice. You know what? I kind of that kind of rings a bell. That kind of rings a bell. Yeah, and, and so it's after, really very cool. Yeah. And so, um, did you ever uh, live in Torrington? I live in Harrington. That's where you live now. Yeah. Oh, you did. I love it there. There's a coal, a hard rain farm. It's like a Bob Dylan song. That, right, right. That one. I forgot what the farm's called, but that's a beautiful town. You know, a, our a first really grade nice teacher town. Nancy Nelson oh. lives there. Remember her? She dated Grant Sheely, our, our gym no, teacher. No, no, oh, I don't know her. She was a fantastic teacher. She's our first grade teacher at uh, Noah Wallace. I believe oh, really? she, must have, she might have retired after 45 oh. some years or something like that. Oh, I love Harwinton. That's beautiful. Yeah. Do you have any chickens? No chickens. No. Dogs, no chickens. cats, animals, though. I had a dog. Yeah, and okay, that, that's it. She died, yeah, and I was awful. so sad. Die. I know, it's awful. And that happened it? that I just... You're not ready. It's like I'm when not mine ready. died. No, no, no. Plus, you can do more. You know, the, you can get the house all exactly. clean. Exactly, to exactly. So we, we were talking um, earlier, and we'll go right into it. We're just doing yeah. 30 minutes tonight because... Uh, Sometimes, like I said, sometimes uh, I'll say, let's do an hour show. And sometimes, you know what? I want to be an entertaining show, so I don't want people to get bored. So we talked about she wants to bring, well, I'll, I'll leave it to Rose to uh, give you the idea that she's she's talking about. So, sure. Yeah, so bring it on. We're ready. So, um, the state of Connecticut, a, second, a couple yeah. of years ago, yep. uh, passed some legislation that says that towns that have lots of arts and culture organizations and they're within a walkable distance of each other, yep. they can go through this process and establish a cultural district in their town. And so why would a town want to do that? Well, um, it promotes all the arts and culture activities in the town. Right. It increases our quality of life. It, and it actually attracts visitors, but it attracts business people to come to town and right. it also attracts residents. So I said, well, this is, this regulation is like made for us because look at all How the... How new is it? Like 2019. 2019. They passed okay. the legislation. Okay. And then the Good. first town in Connecticut that went ahead and established it was Ridgefield. 
Oh, really? Wait a yes. minute. I'm trying to think. Is that out by Kent? No, it's over by like Wilton and okay. Danbury. Okay. And, and what's kind their of, claim to fame out there? Just well, the very no, old. they have lots of great, they have the Ridgefield Playhouse. Oh, and yeah, they have I've a been great, there. The Aldrich Museum. It's like an art. That's a beautiful town. Yes, it's, it's a, a beautiful, beautiful town. town. Yeah. So they were the first uh, ones that established this. And, you know, I started How many thinking, more? Just that one? Or? So, no, and then okay. Torrington was second, which is where I used to work. Yep. And and um, that, that did you help get that going over there? No, okay. no, no, because it wow, started in 2019. Started. Right. Yeah, and that's I've right. been here now for 10 years. 10 years you have? Oh, yeah, God, here I in love Farmington. it. I love it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So how do you get started on this? Websites, all sorts of... Um... Well, you have. there's like a little process that you have to do. Yeah. And um, we're going to go ahead and do it. And yeah. it's so... Do any... you need grant money to do it? Nope, no, you don't no need grant, grant money. money. Yeah, that's good. Um, but you just have to know how to you know, make sure you, you set up a little committee of people in town who love the arts and are involved in the arts. Okay, and they can, great idea. they're going to be on an advisory committee and we're going to set up goals. And then we have to do, the last thing we have to do is a walking That's tour. That's a great idea. I mean, how many museums do we have in town? We have well, Stanley imagine, Whitman. Well, imagine, look, at, just in Farmington, we have Stanley Whitman. And then we Hillstead. have the Hillstead. And then we can walk down and go to Main Street. And we have Miss Porter's. And we have First Congress. Because remember, it's arts it's and all culture. Connected within it's all connected. It's all connected. Yes. And don't we have we another? We have the Lewis Walpole Museum. That's right, right on we Main have, Street. Right, Farmington Historical Society. Yep. They do the, that great. And then um, I think uh, there's one in Unionville, right? Unionville Museum. Yes. And so we have lots of different things. So it's time to get on the map. And that really um, is a Bristol great idea. Ju Believe it or not, Bristol just established their cultural district. So that's what I'm working on. Okay, and that's it's fun. very that's exciting. It's a lot of fun. And I think we'll do a great job. And you probably can get in touch with the Ridgefield people too, just to see Oh yes, I've heard, I oh, called and I called um, the economic development director. She's a friend of mine, Rista, over in Torrington. And I asked her, how did she do it? Yeah. So it's it's all good. Oh, that's good. It's all networking. I can already think of people like Bree and um, Bree and Evan Quimby or Bree Quimby and Evan. I could see that they're very into art. Yeah. The Hillstead. We've got so many people. We have so many around here. Yeah, that are we in the really arts. do, and, and I think they're going to be great. So I'll tell you what we're painting quick. I decided that we would do some uh, historic places here in Farmington. So this is your village store, and it. So everybody knows this, but you might not. So the Amistad Trail was where people hid. So like the Underground Railroad, they hid the slaves in Main Street in Farmington. Mm -hmm. is, is it just Main Street, or does no? It go? I think it's probably it probably the, goes Waterville Road. We're going to have to do a little district. Yep. you're talking about the cultural district, so we're going to yep. have to have boundaries. So we'll probably go up High Street, and then it goes to the Hillstead, and then coming down, and then we're going to be on Main Street, and we're going to go so many places. I and, know. And just that little cemetery on Main the Street. The cemetery is very, too. Very, very yes, neat. That's all a lot of that. Of fun. All of that. Yeah, and you could probably even have little walking tours. I know people around the no, area. No, you have here, to. That's part of it. People, yeah, people are very, very active here. And you know, I love the bike trail, but I like when it has the word bike in front of it because you know what? I can't run that fast, and I'm scared yeah. of pretty much everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know when I went, on a bike, I, I was walking on the walking trail this winter, <laughs> or a bear, and like, there was a bear. A bike. Yeah. Not in the winter. The bear came in the spring. Oh God! But oh, then God. I saw this like uh, mountain lion type creature. On I was the like, bike oh, trail. Oh gosh! Oh yeah, you just don't know. So on a bike, I'm a little bit faster. So I am painting. It's, it used to be called it's uh, your village store. Uh, people in town that have grown up in farm. I, I don't have any red, so I'm using orange for the door, but it's fine. Uh, people that grew up in Farmington, especially know this store. They called it Jigs. Oh. So it's Billy DiCaprio's store. He sold oh, it to my God, look at that. Yeah, and it was his uncle that they called Jigs. So everybody referred to the store at Jigs, but it has five um, apartments in the top floor. I don't know if they hid some of the uh, Underground Railroad people there, but this is definitely on the Amistad mm -hmm. Trail. And it's it's pretty cool, but I would love to be on a on a committee. I'm not very well. Good I would being love to charge. have you because yeah. you know we have to have an artist. Yeah, I would love that. I don't like to be in charge of stuff, but I like to uh, donate my time and and my talent for sure. Oh my god, but, that yeah, would when, be wonderful. Yeah. So now do you have um, your kids went to school in Farmington? No, Harlington. Oh, so did. I live in Harlington. Yeah, they went to oh, Harlington. Harlington. I, I, I love that library out there. I oh, it's a cute there. little library. It's yeah. So cute. Oh, I really like Farmington a lot. How many people live there? 13, oh gosh, 
13,000. Mm, I don't know. I know how many is people it, live in Farmington, but not Harwington. Well, that's because you work in Farmington. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And plus the numbers change. So I grew up kind of like a Harwington area. I grew I mean, I'm from Northampton, Massachusetts, but we did live on a... 350 acres in the middle of nowhere. So oh, wow. it was very much like Harrington. And you don't have a lot of stores, but you No, have, we don't. But you know, we're so close to Torrington. You have a that great I can grocery go. store. I love that little store. Which one? So it's kind of like there's that. Oh, it's Dunkin gone Donuts. now. Oh, why? No, oh, we, they had a little no, grocery, a grocery store. store. No, we don't have that anymore. I love that grocery it store. Had, like, you could buy like. You could buy a lot of stuff. And you know what? You could buy healthy food too. Yes, like Ezekiel yes. bread and like yes. oats. And like it was just set more like a country store. It was not like a CVS or anything no, like no, that. No, 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 no. What happened? Oh, and so oh. Rose is painting. I know, but you, you know, you're it's good. It's sticking. We got it. She is doing, you know, your. Uh, How can I do the white? So it's so It's good. You're gonna see it. Great. This oh, okay. is your quintessential. Uh, you know, all the houses look like this. My parents live in a historic section, and so. Although some people paint their houses rainbow colors in Northampton, you cannot do that uh, in our historic section in Main Street. Uh, I mean, my dad's part of the historic section. So there's a few colors you can paint your house when you're in the historic section. We're keeping it. Mine, mine is white. I love a white house. I have yeah. a white house. I just love it white because it stands out. So she's doing Hillstead, and you can't tell. You know, it looks like any white house. Someone could say, oh, that's Barbara Towsick's house on Main Street. You know, they all have that that look. So I'll just use the white on so, white. So, yeah, so that's great. So when, um, how do you figure this, it'll start, how many people would you like on the committee? Well, like the state says, because the state, it's all state requirement. Yeah. So the state says have we have exactly to have, what they say. we yeah. have to do it, yeah. and we have to have at least six. Okay. So it has to be someone from a cultural uh, institution, yeah. someone who's an artist, someone who has a creative business. Um, oh, I like that. Yeah, I know. I do yeah, too. Me too. Um, also, you can do from people from different backgrounds, right? Yes. So not everybody's the same. Exactly. Yeah, that's perfect. Exactly. So it's going to be great. And maybe uh, the school systems here, as you know, uh, Harwington, beautiful school system too. But our school systems is one of the reasons why people move here. Yeah. And I bet you, you could probably get some of the committee members that seniors that are going into oh, that, gosh. that white looks great. Absolutely. Yeah, people that are going into um, that, that kind of area here. I'm just doing my windows. And if I don't get it done, I don't care. It's so much fun and everything. So um, so we were just saying, um, yeah, I think there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things going on in town. And we have a lot of new business. What would you say I the do. newest is? So the Any newest new one restaurant? that just oh. was. Oh, I want to go to the Indian, Indian restaurant. Yes. I love. And you know what's funny? Spicy I, food. I, I love did. spicy. Oh. I don't love spicy no, food, but, you love but I yeah. went to this wonderful restaurant because I, I helped them with their ribbon cutting. What's the name? Flavors of Nawab. That was smart. Yep, yep, yep. Is that, the, the, is that the town they're from or the city? No, from? Nawab, I don't know from what, what he told me, because I asked him, I said, what does Nawab mean? Yeah, I would So know. Nawab means uh, food of the flavors of the kings. Really? Like the ruler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, and so you did the ribbon that cutting? Cool. That was like recently. We did, yeah, we did the ribbon cutting. Were they able to open like when they wanted to? I yes, think that was okay. they were Good. able to open when they wanted. Oh, that's great. So it, it all worked out. They were very excited because right when they opened... I was excited. I can't wait to go. It was going to be um, the weekend before the carnival. So they had a lot of um, people kind of running good, in. Good, good. You, know, you mean the Unionville Carnival? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Because that, that's kind of where they're located. Yeah, it's very, very nice. So what is where, remember where Matthews used to be? Yes, and that's it, was, it. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, so Pomona Joe's or something yeah, like Pomona that. Yeah, jo okay. Pomona Joe's. Pomona Pete's. Pomona Pete's. That's good for us to have because, you know, um, I'm trying to think. It's, it's so funny because... Um, I was trying to go, and uh, I, I, bamboo's relatively new too, right? Bamboo, so. no, it's about eh, I think eh. I think like five years now. But the, this is fun. Yeah. So when people in Farmington want to open a business, like, do they call you or do they call? Thank you, Rich. We have ten minutes. It's a ton oh my god, of time. how can that be? Tons of time. Oh. You know that takes me. I, I usually it takes me about that time to drive to work. So let me show you what mine looks like. Mine's right. just going to be a little bit more modern. I gave her something relatively easier because... Thank you. I yeah. never painted in She's, my life. Wait till you see it. It's going to be perfect. And then I, I don't up, know about it's this. It's going to be gorgeous. And then while we're cleaning up too, we always add more. 
And like, even when someone says, oh, Dawn, you should have done two episodes. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm not. So <laughs> sorry about that. I tell my doctor that all the time. <laughs> He's like, Dawn, you know, you really shouldn't be doing that. And I'm like, well, I am. So let's move to the next thing, doc. Because, <laughs> yeah. Um, so great. So it is... Uh, First day of August. Next, uh, I can't tomorrow, believe tomorrow. it. I can't believe it. It has been great weather the past few days, though, don't you agree? Oh, my gosh, mm -hmm. beautiful. But it did make me a little bit concerned, like, oh, no. I know, I know. It's coming. I it's know. coming quicker than I wanted it is to. Is your job full-time, like, yes. all year round? It is? Yes, yeah, all yeah, year round. It is. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that's good, though. Yeah, yeah no, it's We've got a lot of good businesses in. Yeah. And we're my business, so I'm open to my business, and Rose was there to cut my ribbon. And I, I was you know so what? I had a excited. great... I had oh, a great run. I really did. And now there are other businesses where mine was that That's are thriving. That's right. They're just starting. I was in excited. Fact, I want to go in the nail salon. There's the a nail, nail salon. salon. There's a nail and is it pedicure. Fancy? It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And they're so it sweet. Is? Yes. I yes. want to go. It looks New very big. and clean yeah. and yes, big. And then um, right above, oh, there's God. a great. Um, above the new nail salon? Yes. Um, her name is Nikki, and she opened up her own salon, and it's called. Uh, Try to think lounge of that hair salon. Really? Yes. Same building as the nail the salon? Same building as the nail salon, but up. Okay. And then yeah. what about the other red bill? I don't know if it's red anymore. What Not about anymore. The, no? They're all new buildings. That, is that medical? On the other side of no, the... No, no. No, okay. No, no, no. I wonder... Oh. Oh, where the... Yeah. Where, no, that, that dress shop. It yes, used to be... Tasha's. Yes, Tasha's. But now that's... Is gorgeous that's now. wonderful. A wonderful place. It's called um, Polish Helping Hands. And they are a great little business. And great if you need some is. extra help... Yeah. I remember I broke my elbow... And right before the holidays, and I you called them need, up, yeah. and they brought and they came. They brought someone over, and they cleaned my whole house, and it was wonderful. That is nice. So they if you Polish need Polish Helping Hands, okay, right. that's good. So and they're in need, that building on the they bottom own that, floor. They own that. No, they own the they building. They own the whole thing. That used to be the dress. You know they what? bought that part of it, the whole yeah. thing? Oh, that's so nice. Isn't it? Yeah, that's really great. I'm glad to see that there's a variety of yeah. things in there, too. And then we have Agnes the, and Peter. Oh, that's nice that. to know. Agnes yeah. and Peter. Then you got the nail salon, which I like, you know, new and clean. I don't usually get my nails sometimes. I mean, I don't know. I Maybe go every now and then. Maybe for a fancy occasion. Yeah, for fancy stuff, you know. I mean, it's like, are all your kids married? She has yes. 11 grandkids. 11. Can you even believe it? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it myself. Yeah, I have two kids, so I'm excited how my offspring will be, uh, how bigger that'll get, you know, when the kids uh, get married or whatever they're going to do. So where do the kids live? So you have three so kids? So I have four kids. So four kids. So I okay, have my, my oldest yeah. lives in Burlington. Oh, and, I love that. Yeah. yeah you're and always so they, smart when you stay home with the parents. They have the four. Parents. And so they do, they oh, do which is really kind of, they have three boys, and then finally they got their little girl. Okay, that's good. Lily. And Lily. And she's, and she's a lot the, of she's fun. She's the youngest. Yeah, right. No, the, the youngest is my son, Tommy, who lives in Fairfield. Yeah. And he has Ava, who's two. Yeah. And now he has Olivia. Oh, this is a ball. Okay, she's the newest she's edition. The newest. Okay, that's great. So it makes 11. And then where are the other ones located? So we so got go have Burlington. Burlington. South Fairfield. Carolina. And then Wilton. Fairfield, two. That's nice. Okay. Two of them. Uh, no, three live in Wilton. So See, the I forest is the South Carolina, or is that just the vacation? My North place? Carolina yeah, girl. Okay. She lives in uh, Wake Forest. So oh, that's, that's very cool. nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'm doing this little thing. So when I used to hang out at the. Uh, so this store. It had a candy shop in the front. It was kind of like your old five and dime store. It was very cool in there, but I got to be extremely close. Um, a lot of people don't know this about me, but most of my friends are old, like way older than me. Uh, I don't know if they're wiser, they're brighter, they've been along more uh, on the planet longer, so I kind of enjoy my time with a lot of old people. It doesn't mean that I don't like people my age, but I really enjoy, like yesterday I was spending time with Marie Rosati, and if you, anybody knew John and Marie, they're on uh, that wonderful little tree, uh, street at the top of Carrington Road. It's called Kate. Oh, what's it oh. called? Oh, my God. I can't. Hart Street, H-A-R-T. So it connects Noah Wallace School to Carrington. And it's the greatest little street. Uh, anyway, uh, she, her husband just died. He was 94. Aww. We missed you, John. And uh, so she still lives there. And, you know, my husband has three tomato plants. She's got like 30 of them. It's just crazy. So I told Rose, it goes by so fast, five minutes. Now, mine isn't even close to done, but I'm going to bring mine home. And what I'm going to do is I'll probably, uh, and then I'll give Rose some paints or whatever. Now, when everybody says, where do you get your paints? 
Um, Kochi was just on. I live next to Blick Art, which is probably not a Farmington business. It's probably I don't Randall. think so, yeah. Um, so I live next to, and I'm going to come up here and show you what we got. And it's more, like I said, when people come on my show, everybody's like, oh, Dawn's not that good. I thought she was like an award-winning artist. And I'm like, look, <laughs> this is a 30-minute show. <laughs> Think of like uh, Hoda and Jenna Bush. <laughs> we are having fun, and we're learning more than we are a painting. And plus, you get better at this. Like when I don't have red paint and you got a red door, that, like, that's a problem. But I used orange. So there we go. So we're going to wrap it up. We've got about three minutes and we're just going to keep blabbing because I don't like to stop early because then the credits just keep going. It's a lot of fun. Let me show you roses just so I, I can don't show know. you. Oh yeah. All I'll right. You can it. show. You'll see how it looks up here. All right. Let's see. Now, I, th this, this is my first thing I've ever painted. This in one's my life. way better than mine. Now no. watch. Um, so this is like, it kind of looks like you're in Edgartown, you're in the winter, there's no hydrangeas. She could add that. So it's the side of the hillside. Notice the globs that she's got here. Yeah, I'm really good. into that. Yeah, I like globs. You do? Yeah, oh, I, I love it. To so see the globs here, they just look great. And she's got the chimney there and the tree. And then I'm going to send her to Ocean State Job Lab for a $5 pack of paint. She's going to take home this picture. And then if you don't have a picture, it's very hard to paint, okay? Because she can match it. And oh I taught God, her how I to do that. I would love to do that. Yeah, we've got a ton of time. And then, uh, yeah, so I can't even believe it. So I really would be on board with this. I would love to get... Um, um, oh God! I mean, even people in my we neighborhood could really have a lot of fun Mark with it. Said, like, well, and also it would be good to get some of the older people. Yes, like the lady that I was just visiting yesterday. So you know yeah. how it's called the Barney Library. Yeah. So Mrs. Barney lived in the house that is next to the Hillstead, and the, 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 the house that's across from Heather's shop. So it's that big, huge, gigantic oh. mansion, which is now yes. apartments. Yes. So that was the Barney house, I believe. And Marie is from Italy. And oh. a lot of Farmington is from Lenola, Italy, like the Master really? of Batistas. Yeah, Master oh, Batistas. Oh, Peter? Yeah, they're oh. from Lenola. And then the uh, Rosati's. Oops. Oh, don't even worry. Oh, this is acrylic paint, so it comes off. Uh, a lot of people that live here in Farmington are from that part of Italy, which is called Lenola. Oh. Uh, also, the Anti Giovannis. Oh, yeah. They're also from that area. And over by our water plant, there's mm -hmm. a little road called Lenola Drive. Really? Oh, can you and that's I know. I just oh. noticed it. I was like, it's crazy. So that's another historic cultural part that we have a lot of people from that area in Italy. Who knew? So I know. So we're not done, but we don't care. And remember, it's more, it's better, more better. Oh God, Dawn's a teacher. Uh, it's better to put on more paint and throw it out than rather skimp and then have not a lot. Yeah. So we're going to do this again. Anybody that would like to be part of the historical, yeah, uh, just the cultural. Let me know. Yep, just you could call me. I'm at town hall. You're at, right at town hall. Yeah, right at town hall. Oh, and you're going to be moving over to the new, the old. That's school. right. I know that's fun. Oh, gosh. That's, mm -hmm. You might have to get a segue or maybe a golf cart, something fun. Well, thanks for coming on. We Thank had a great time. Me. Thank you wonderful. so much, Rich Conestraro. He's our cameraman. God love you, Rich. And we'll see you next time on the Crack of Dawn. Until then, we've got Brett Erickson coming on, by the way. And uh, he will, he'll, he'll be coming on next time, and I'll see you then. Until then, have a great night. And happy summer. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Hi. Oh, it's so fun. And a lot of people... Today, I have a very special guest, Dr. Andrew Lynn. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Veterans Corner. My name is Chuck Wooden. Decision for ourselves for this week if we want to be made well. Hi, welcome to the crack of dawn. It's Dawn Lombardi. I'm starting the painting. It's going to be the clips with some water. Love it. He took me on the sets of Lost in Space, Batman. Everybody has a story. What's yours? Until next time.
sometimes life just happens. Don't worry. Farmington Motorsports will get you back on the road and at a fair price. From towing to tires, emissions to transmissions. Our ASC certified techs do it all. Farmington Motorsports is a family-run business. We're a Napa Auto Center and AAA approved. We work on all makes and models from preventative maintenance to major repairs. And every repair is backed by our two-year, 24,000-mile nationwide warranty. When life happens to you, don't worry. Farmington Motorsports. 